Stevenson, the Lady uh, Antebellum. Uh, uh, <laughs> Lady Antebellum. First of all, Antebellum. It is not a racist word. It's not a racist name. It has virtually. You got to be. You got to be. You got to really twist your logic around to find anything racist in the word antebellum. Antebellum is a. It's actually a real estate term. It's a. <laughs> It's it 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 has to do with uh, a style of architecture, pre Civil War architecture in the American South. Okay, that's what antebellum means. Uh, the band Lady Antebellum uh, has, uh, as you probably know, announced that they are changing their name. Did anybody complain that their name Lady Antebellum was a racist? No, not particularly. Did anyone complain? Did anyone say, you got to change your name? That's a horrible name. You're racist. No. Uh, they decided on their own. They came out on Instagram uh, yesterday. Uh, this is Friday. So they came out yesterday on Thursday and announced that they're changing their name from Lady Antebellum to Lady A. And the reason is, is because they've, they've been racist and, they, and they're sorry. And they want to join that throng of white liberals who fall on their knees and beg for forgiveness. So even though nobody has suggested that they should change their name, they voluntarily did it. And they changed their name to Lady A. And they're very, very sorry that they've called themselves Lady Ante. Look, if Lady Antebellum was a racist term uh, or name... Why did they ever call themselves Lady Antebellum in the first place? Hmm. They said they actually put a, a quote out. They answered that question. They said, better late than never. Boy, have they stepped in it. I tell you, I love it when political correctness comes back to bite some socialist, liberal, weenified, meatpacking, trouser mouse right in the ass. And it has. There are new developments, ladies and gentlemen, to the whole Lady Antebellum saga. As it turns out, the new name that they chose is already in use. Yes. Yes, there is not another band named Lady A. It's not a progressive college band, you know, rock band. No, Lady A happens to be a 61-year-old blues singer by the name of Anita White. She's been known as Lady A for over 20 years. Is that a lovely lady or what? That is Lady A. That's her name. Lady A. She's a blues singer. She's been singing blues for a long time. She's very popular, as a matter of fact. She is a, a recording artist. She's been doing this for years. And um, she's not happy. And, and can you blame her? Lady A says, wait, so they took the name Lady A, which is her name. She said they took the name Lady A to show that they're not racist. When, in fact, they're stealing the name Lady A from a black singer. I think this woman has a, has a lawsuit. Do you not agree? Oh, please, Lady A. Anita White is her name. Let's, let's all reach out to her and suggest, please, please call an attorney. Call Mickey Fine. <laughs> call, call a lawyer. Sue the shit out of these people. Why didn't they do a little research? Because that's the way liberals do shit, man. They don't think. They just do. They react on emotions, not with their fucking brains. That's the problem. So anyway, now Lady Antebellum is Lady A, but they're going to have to change their name because, after all, Lady A is already taken, and Lady A happens to be a black woman, and so it really doesn't look so good. It kind of looks like Kendall Jenner when she made that really woke Pepsi commercial a couple of years ago. <sighs> so what are they going to do? Well, they're going to have to change the name again, and my suggestion, of course, uh, is to change their name from Lady A to, well, Hillary Scott, of course, is really the reason that anybody pays any attention to Lady Antebellum ever have. I mean, she's a beautiful woman and she's very well endowed. So my suggestion, which I made as a joke uh, this morning on my uh, uh, podcast, I think probably they really should consider naming the band Hillary Scott's Tig O' Biddies. Because after all, that's really the only thing people are interested in anyway, because their music really sucks. You know what? She should, that should be a part of the lawsuit. 
I, I, you know what I'm saying? I really think that should be part of the lawsuit. I think that when Lady A sues the shit out of him for using her name, she doesn't take any money. She just forces them to use the name Hillary Scott's Tig O Bitties as the name of the uh, of the band. So anyway, liberalism bites itself in the ass for two reasons in this particular case, ladies and gentlemen. That being the fact that A, they wanted to feel like they were doing something special. And they were making a sacrifice and atoning for their past sins. Number two, they just wanted attention, just like all the celebrities. They don't. They just wanted attention. That's all there was to it. Listen to uh, my podcast. It is on every day at twitch.tv. That's twitch.tv. Search The Jazz McKay Show. See, it's right at the top, right up here. The Jazz McKay Show. Just go to www.twitch dot tv slash the jazz mckay show follow me on twitch i'm there every monday through friday from noon until two o'clock oh, love to see the liberals get their asses kicked but seriously seriously guys uh, it's called truth in advertising hillary scott's tiggle biddies that should be the <laughs>